Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the FTOG All the Mods 3 server, standing here at a source of a lot of problems. <laughs> the solar panels, these are the, the, the tier 4s, so I think together they make about 256 uh, RF a, a tick, which is fine. And, and I'm using the, the pipes, the little energy pipes or energy conduits or whatever from Cyclic uh, underneath uh, connecting to that power cell. Okay, dimensional cell. And here's the, the, the thing. Initially, I had the, the two solars right next to the, the cell, and that was working great. I went to the, the mining dimension, did a few things, came back and the server crashed. I could see the, the chunk that I was in over there. Uh, okay, can't see it through the building. Uh, I, I could see that chunk load, but nothing beyond that chunk loaded and the server crashed. And then it kept crashing. And Torgal spent way too much time digging down, digging down, digging down. Finally, we were thinking the power cells, we tried a whole bunch of things and we removed all those. And it seemed like the solar panels uh, could also be a, a culprit. Now, Torgal also made a pair of these, and it's not crashing at his base. It's working just fine there. And he would, you know, go from spawn to here, crash. <laughs> so we managed to get the, the power cells out and the solars out. And we we're taking a look at those and going, um, yeah, and testing, testing, testing. As near as I can tell, th there may have been a kind of a glitched process with those solar cells because th having them around caused things to crash. And I don't know why. So I went ahead and, and tossed those away and uh, the, the server magically gave me two new ones and they've been running fine. So I'm scratching my head going, I don't get it. But uh, one of those things to, to watch out for, these might get bugged, which is really weird. Now, the dimensional cells, I, I tried without them, and we were still crashing with the, the solar cells in place. And that's where I, where I thought, maybe there's something else broken with them too. Uh, this one here looks fine. This one here has 17K energy in it. And it always has 17K. If I add it to the, the group or if I put it right next to a machine and it drains everything out, when I take it off and break it, it comes back with 17K energy every time, which makes me think this one is bugged. So I'm not gonna be using that. This one here is is some of the rest and they're, they're fine. Uh, other stuff I did. I moved the machines over here and the, the, the random chests and whatnot, they're all empty. Uh, over there because if we take a look at the chunks these this guy here the the, the controller and all the the rest of my refined storage stuff that's in this chunk and I had my power and whatnot in the other this controller will chunk load this chunk and so I wanted to make sure that I have my battery box and everything else set up in this chunk so that this can stay powered up. Uh, Torgal was, was commenting that, yeah, he noticed that his controller is chunk loading because he comes back and it's powered down after a, a big chunk of time. So the way that this is working, those two solars out there, you can just barely see it through there, uh, they feed the uh, dimensional cell network and that's all one. This guy here, if I input stuff, both input stuff into this battery box and also into the dimensional cell. And then this one is set as an output into the battery box. So this 2.5 million RF here is sufficient to power my controller for a long time. But it also is set up that this is the last, the, the, the first power goes in from these dimensional cells into the battery box and then from there into the controller. If that makes sense, I have two and a half million RF always available to my, my um, controller. Now, even if I were to drain all these dimensional cells out completely in the six million in, in them right now, even if they were to be drilled, uh, drained out by some heavy RF process, there'd still be 2.5 million kicking in here, slowly getting eaten away. So I always like having that sort of uh, storage of power. And this needs to be polished andesite. Yep, and then over here, that's polished and these needs to be smooth stone. So 
Uh, these are doing the things, and oh yeah, I still have the chunk battery on because I've had way too many wandering traders come around here, jump up on my pumpkins and jump down and squish stuff, or I've, I keep nibbling this side over here away, but some of the llamas and, and horses and whatnot have jumped high enough over and trampled my crop. So I said, dang it, I'm done with you doing that. I'm going to make a protected crop area and I'm going to do it in this chunk here. It's close enough to the base, but it's not too close because it's going to be a little bit tall. Okay, not that tall, but it's going to be a little bit taller. Time to build something that I can let run while I'm doing other stuff. Let me show you. Uh, what I want is the fluid extractor, which is this beastie. And I've got the mossy, I've got the, the piston, but it wants this pity machine frame. So let's make two of those. And then it wants this light weighted pressure plate, which is just the gold one. And now I can make it. Ta-da! Yay! I can now process fluids. Well, I can extract fluids. <laughs> All right. Oh, something else. Uh, corruption powder. I got uh, a bag of eight and I used two pieces to make end stone and a chorus fruit. And then I made a third piece to make an additional end stone because then I could sit there and make this and get 16 more because one of the uses of this is the end agglomeratio, which means now I can make end stuff. So uh, that, that makes me very, very happy. And one of the reasons why I wanted that was this, the auto clicker. And that needs a chorus flower. It also needs diorite. And what do I not have? Diorite. Well, let's go ahead and make some diorite. I can either quartz and cobblestone that, which I've got, or hey, I've got <laughs> nether quartz essence and stone essence. Let's make one of those. Dump that into the list. And ta-da! I got me an auto clicker. Now, the, the thing I want about that is to be able to sit there and, and help with my processing of crops. So let's come over here. Uh, the entire farm area that was over here extended out to this line and I've then kind of filled up the area. There was some other stuff that I just kind of cleared out. This is the base of what it's going to be and I want to do some automation stuff down here. And you can see you've got the little three by three area for doing the, the farming. Yeah, it's only eight crops, but I don't need gobs and gobs, it's, it's just fine. Uh, got the controller from Xnet here, and behind it, not that you can see it, is another one of my power cells. And the reason why I put it right next to it is that way the controller is powered by that cell. However, I also come into here and one of the first things I do is I turn create an energy one and I have the energy come out. It extracts from my block and it goes into anything that needs power. So I'm also looping power into my controller through there. And then there's going to be two machines here and a machine there, all of which need power. Hey, the extractor, can I put it right here? Okay, I don't want it facing that direction. Let's have it face this direction. Let's see if I can help. That's not useful. Let's see if I can click it. <laughs> yes, I'll edit that out. You'll never see that. All right. Yes, perfect, perfect. Okay, so this does not need energy. Uh, you, know, you can give it energy, but it doesn't need it. So let me snag that. I'm going to put a block uh, log here and it's going to slowly start breaking that down. And in here, you can see it's generating latex for me, which is eh. uh, so let's see if we can speed this up. This is the stuff channel. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want stuff. I want energy. Let's insert energy into my block industrial foregoing fluid extractor name. Uh, let's go ahead and just insert power there and see how it's going so much faster. Instead of going starting up here and ticking it along, it's going much, much faster. So every second it's, it's going up. That's what we're looking for. Good. Okay. Uh, and I need that to extract out uh, a, a bucket's worth 
of uh, fluid out of there. Now, I need to put something here and down there and here, but those need extra components. So uh, this is gonna take a bit. Uh, what else can I set up? Oh, 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 oh. I made the cooking for blockhead sink. Let me drop down here. This guy right here. It's pretty cheap to make. It's five terracotta, a bucket with water, and three iron. And the thing I love about it is it's an infinite water source. So I love having that. Um, okay, so you can see there's the, the power cell and uh, my controller. These are the blue connectors. And then some of these are just network cables because they don't need anything fancy on it. Uh, these, I've been finding all sorts of things. It's 1.14, the mods are kind of eh, iffy right now. If I break these with my, my pick, I don't get back a blue connector. I get a router connector or something like that, which I need to then give it another piece of blue dye and it turns into a blue connector. So it's, it's, it's not easy to break out. Uh, the other thing, there's facades, because I initially had this controller here down, down one block and I, I wanted a facade here because it was being used by a cable. Well, facades right now crash the client, which is not so good. But uh, thanks to a, a very quick use by Torgal of a command block, as soon as I logged in, the command block was able to nuke a five by five area around me because the, the, the connector was right there. The facade was right there and I was standing right there, but I wasn't sure which direction I was looking. And so I said, eh, do five by five. That'll be sure to kill it. So, uh, yeah, lots of crashes getting things done. But, you know, that's just kind of the way things are. Uh, I do need the water bucket for that. How are you doing for latex? Almost half. All right, let's, let's put the, uh, the clicker in place. Uh, let's see, I, I need some block. Uh, we'll just use the cobblestone, why not? And we'll hop down in here and we'll put the clicker right there. Then we can hop back up. And now we can get rid of that because we don't need that no more. All right, now the clicker is nice because it doesn't need power whatsoever. I am going to change it so it uses a click every five ticks because there's no sense in doing it uh, faster than that. And then I'm going to take my watering can and I'll put it inside there. And what it will do is it will click down and will actually water this area. And it does work, but it's doing nothing because one, there's not, it's not tilled, so it doesn't do anything for that. And two, because there's nothing for it to click on. But once I have water here, then I could put my lily pad on top and that will be in this block and it'll actually start working. So I'm gonna leave the lily pad here. I'm also gonna leave the other logs here. Yep, you can see this is slowly breaking this down. So this is why when I discovered this and I played with it in creative, I realized that this actually would speed up uh, the, the, the crops. Now the, the harvester I, I found does not do anything with the, the, the inferium or any of the other mystical uh, agricultural uh, tilled farmland. So it's gotta be the, the, the vanilla stuff, but oh well. So there's gonna be a harvester here and down below a planter there to keep the seeds going. And I'm just seeing if I can drag out stuff until this is full. Eh, I'll cut. So I got myself some latex and uh, all I did is just right clicked it with the, the empty bucket and that was sufficient. So let's make the latex processing unit because that needs latex. And what is it missing? The, the furnace? Oh, okay, well, let's make a furnace. I don't want mossy. I want just regular cobble. <laughs> I only have 62 mossy. I, I've got lots of cobble. Okay, let's go with that. Uh, yeah. Latex processing unit. Yes. All right, good. And uh, that's night, but I don't care. You know, Torgal needs it. He can sleep it. All right, so the latex processing plant is going to go here, but I bet I probably want to have a block for it to go against. Let's try that. Of course not. <laughs> you 
Yes, of course, that, that it orients itself very nicely. All right, so this guy needs power. It also needs water and latex. So let's edit this and uh, power channel. Let's go ahead and insert some power. And boom, already done. Let's insert water. And this is the stuff channel. This is the what? Er channel. So we're extracting that and that's going into the latex processor. So let's insert and there goes the water. Chugga, 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 chugga. Cool. So that's the, the water channel. Let's make a latex channel for fluids. We'll call this latex. And we are going to extract from the fluid extractor and insert into the processor unit. And there's the latex going in. And we got our first tiny dry rubber. Now you need nine of them to make a, a rubber pellet that you can then cook and turn it into a plastic. So. I don't want to keep those in here. I've got lots of storage over here. So let's go ahead and extract items. And here's the stuff channel. So we are going to extract from this one, the, uh, the latex guy. We are going to extract and yeah, might as well extract as a stack. And the insert is the chest. And if we take a look at this one, I turned on the blacklist. So none of these seeds that I'm gonna process will go in. But crock, they're already in there. Well, that's because I put them in there. I needed something to uh, click. But the, the five tiny rubber are sitting in there. And it's getting ready to output a sixth. Six. So cool, cool, cool. Okay, so I don't need you, don't need you, don't need you, don't need you either. All right, so this is actually working very nicely. This will, as this processes, will get for me the, the rubber that I need to make the sheets because I need to make two other items here and here. And then we can get this farm going. So this should be the last nine tiny dry rubbers that I need to make this dry rubber. And if we toss that into the furnace, it'll cook up pretty fast into this plastic. And uh, I need, right now I need eight of them and there's my eight right so let's go ahead and look i need a plant sower so for that i need these i don't have any clay let's get three of these cooking up real quick cookie cookie cook 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 all right what else do we need for the plant sower uh we need pistons so let's get one let's get some uh, spruce Clear that there, dump that there, that there. Make another piston. All right, so there's two pistons. Uh, I need to make iron gears. Six, let's make six. And pity machine frames. Let's go ahead and make four of those. And we should have this done. Yep, they are. Go away. There's a flower pot. So this should be the plant sower. Done. Next, the plant gatherer. And we need gold gears. Let's do, do three of those. And iron axe, iron hoe, iron axe. Okay, let's make two axes. One axe, two axe, one hoe. All right, that should be sufficient for my plant gatherer. There's two of these done. Sludge refiner. All right, we need furnaces. Um, don't take my... Why? <laughs> All right, so two furni. Let's go ahead and make, there's my sludge refiner. And then a uh, dissolution chamber. Okay, we need one of these. And I think we got everything for the dissolution chamber. Done. And that's all the plastic I got. So let's put these away. Oh, let's sleep real quick. That's pretty fast. <laughs> I love it. And I've been doing a little bit of work with the uh, the, the top part. But uh, let's uh, head on down. Uh, the interesting thing I noticed is this spruce log gets processed and then it becomes a stripped 
spruce log, which gets processed and then it goes away, which I think is fantastic. Uh, and I don't need to process the, the latex out of here. I need uh, that. Oh, I need to have a full bucket. All right, let's do some things. Uh, let's put the uh, plant sower right here. Doink. Which means I can go ahead and put water there. Boom. Which means I can get latex there. Cool. We're going to need that. Uh, I went into here and my latex channel I turned off. So it's not pumping that into here, making little tiny dry rubber because I need latex. All right. So that's one thing. Uh, I need the plant gatherer. And I bet you it's pointed the other way. It is. So I need a block. Hey, cobble right there. And let's see, can I stick you right eh, there? Perfect. So that's pointing this direction. And if we take a look at its range or the working area, yeah, it's pretty pitiful. <laughs> that does me no good. So I need a, a range update or upgrade for that. And to do this range upgrade here, I need the dissolution chamber, which needs some of these bits and latex. So that's where I need that dissolution uh, chamber. Let's take, because I don't think I'm going to be using that much. I'm going to go ahead and put that down here. So there's my dissolution chamber. Or plop. Yep, that should work out just fine. And this guy, I'm going to go put those. Can I not put multiples? Nope, I can only put exactly what it wants. So there's that. And can I hit you with slur that? Okay, that should be everything it needs. Uh, but it needs power. Is there anything else other than just power? Okay, let's get power. Get me out of here. Power. This is the dissolution chamber. Let's insert the power there. And the plant sower can get some power. And the plant gatherer can get some power too. All right. So let's see what that little guy is doing. Oh, already done. Let's get set up for the next one. And the other four. There. Cool. Uh, needs more latex, which eat don't have. But I can take the plant gatherer now and I can put that range update in it. And if we take a look at the area now, it's the three by three area. Perfect. And my water is gone. And it's back. <laughs> so let's take my lily pad and put that right there. And so this should actually start working on this. Do I have a hoe here? I do have a hoe. All right, so we'll put that there. And I put that away. What not, what, it's not. All right, so this, I need to teach the, let's grab all those. I need to teach, this is the stuff channel. And so I'm extracting, from the the latex processing the, the the stuff which is fine inserting into the chest that says don't do these but for the plant sower i want to insert and i do want these seeds in it and only these seeds and that way the the seeds as they cycle about won't go elsewhere so that should work out very nicely in fact, if we, can I put them in here? All right, so uh, we've got, that one doesn't shift click, but the rest of them shift clicked in. All right, so these guys are here, but there's nothing how to get them out. So again, we're doing the stuff channel and the dissolution fluid extractor latex. Uh, this is the plant sower. You're not an insert plant sower for stuff. You are, oh no, that's the, that's the plant gatherer. That's, that's completely backwards. This is the gat, oh, that's the plant sower. That's the gatherer. Notice how this has, the sower here has the, the, the pattern on the top and this doesn't. 
if we look at this, that's the gatherer. That's the wrong graphic. All right, so this is the, if this is the gatherer and that's the name, so we'll go by name and we'll just go ahead and extract by stack. And that should pull everything out of here. Nope, it's completely backwards. The name is wrong and the uh, the graphic is right. <laughs> Okay, no, no, I can see it. It says on the left, plant sower, but if you look, can look really closely underneath, it says plant gatherer dot name. So yeah, oh, and that says diamond chest. Okay, this has got a, a bug where it's not listing things correctly. All right, these are backwards. So let's take you and turn you into an, uh, let's do the insert first. Let's pull all the seeds out again, because I need those. All right, let's turn you into an insert and we'll hit it with the seeds. And there's all eight seeds. We'll put these back. See, some of these, yeah, these two just won't shift click in. All right, so that should now pick up seeds. And then this guy needs to be the extract and we'll do by stack and we'll get rid of all these things. And they're all gone. And this guy has them here. This won't work yet because it has a range of one, which doesn't work at all. Oh, you've got all that I need. Let's make the range upgrade here. There we go. And it just needs that one. That's that's all it needs. Oh, let's get up. And it's already started to uh, put the, the stuff there. And you can see how fast it's growing. It's growing because of the sprinkler. Because if we take that out real quick, I'm gonna manually hit that there. Now they're actually hydrated and looking much better. <laughs> let's put that back in. Yeah, so it, there's no particle effects going on, so we, we can't see that it's doing anything. But it is actually obviously speeding up the, the, the process. And this should be speeding up um, because they are doing three by three, uh, both the, the, the planting and the, the harvesting. This will go ahead and, and go fairly fast because it goes cycle, 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 cycle through those blocks. If this were doing like a 17 by 17, which I think is the highest, oh, plus 12. I think that's a 25 by 25, all said. That's huge, and it takes a while because it goes count, 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 unless it has a speed update uh, upgrade on it. And all the stuff is flying into here, which is very, very cool. We'll sort. So that will go ahead and start generating for me while I'm in the area, because this chunk here isn't loaded in any way. Oh. And uh, so that will, get me stuff that I need. And as I need to, I can pull out the, the various seeds. Say I don't need emeralds. I've got 50 gazillion emeralds. I can pull that seed out, put a different seed in its place. I just need to come in here and teach this one the to, to insert just those seeds and the this guy to not insert that same seed. So I just need to put them in there and that's good. And here you can see the striped or stripped <laughs> spruce log. And so it gets to do a second batch. And now I'm going to turn my uh, spruce back on. Or not spruce, but the latex processing back on. And the fluid just went right, right back in. Because I do want the, the, the stuff at this point. Now this guy here is generating sludge. And that's why I have the sludge refiner. So let's take that. And again, we don't need to see it. In fact, uh, since this is a connector, I'll put it right there. All right, so there's the sludge refiner. Let's give it power so it can insert the power. And then I've got a channel here for sludge, liquid sludge. So it's going to come out of the plant gatherer. So we're going to extract sludge and then we're going to insert it. This is into the sludge refiner. I have to ignore what it shows and that should work. 
And if we come down here, yep, the sludge has gone in, it'll process, and it's gonna make clay, sand, dirt, stuff like that. And now we need to pull the stuff out of there. That's the stuff channel. So we're gonna go ahead and extract from here. And single is fine because there's just that one thing, which means there's my dirt. So this chest is big enough. It should hold quite a few uh, of these items and I can pull them out from here and process them into the, the, the goodness that I want. And this is only gonna run while I'm here. Now, the one thing I don't know is whether or not this is redstone sensitive. Let's find out. Because I'm thinking it would be nice to be able to just say, no, you know, I'm done with uh, growing anything. Let's just ignore that for now. So let's grab a stick and grab a cobble. And it was probably just just as easy to do that than type in lever and do the recipe because you know that's the way it is uh, let's slap a a lever on it and say off nope nope <laughs> that uh, that doesn't do a thing all right what about this guy down here if we nope it's still planting the the stuff i can see so that's not so good interesting how it seems to be counting 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 and it's taking a while for that gold to get replanted why let's put you up there there it goes that's weird that's that's very weird that it's having issues like that what so yeah that that doesn't work i need uh, another method to uh, turn that off and do you that's sneaking if i put you on there and turn you off see these guys are not growing very fast at all so if i turn that on yeah, that's a definitely on. So this definitely is affected by by the, 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 the switch. This, I wonder if I could easily set up this power to run on, I could just disable and then these things would run out of power and stop. So that, that may be the, the way I, I turn things off. Alrighty, so the I'm glad that this is working, but now I need to get the the rest of my manual farm and uh, the the rest of that build going. I just noticed something. Uh, this coarse fruit plant, pretty wimpy. It's got three flowers on the top, and this one over here is almost like double the height, and it has eight. So I'm not sure why this one is so much more fruitful. Okay, I totally know. <laughs> Torgal came over and uh, snagged this one and replanted it. And it only had three, too. But the one he planted, much better. It's almost like he was had a green thumb from doing a lot of plant work. <laughs> if you haven't checked his channel, go over there and, and take a look. He's been doing a bunch of plant tech. And um, I like mystical agriculture better. But, you know... <clears throat> uh, just noticed some yellow dots over here so that's got to be a trader yes it is hey trader and the llamas have bunnies for heads <laughs> what you got what you got what you got uh you got a big pile of poo i don't like you give me better trades sell me some ender pearls i would give you lots of emeralds for ender pearls fine all right so uh let's head over here um, yeah, I saw in Torgal's video, he was uh, jealous of, of all the stuff, but you know, that's, that's what it is. Uh, I did plant, uh, at the base here, the, the melon and the pumpkin, and I just noticed they've popped out almost perfectly. Although I think it'd be a little bit better to have them off to the side. Maybe if I plant, harvest these, plant some flowers or something here, it'll force them to the other side. They'd have to do something over here to stop that. Anyway, let's show you. Um, yeah, everything's disabled down here. 
because actually let's grab another log uh, I added something here I added a lever and you can see with little red sparkles that's on and down here uh, with the dissolution chamber I went ahead and added another lever and it's currently off and it has latex going into it which if we hop back up uh, what I did over here, power-wise, I turned the power off. I said the, the stuff doesn't need to be running. But this channel here, the Latex, I edited both the machines so that they require no redstone to, to be able to transfer Latex. So this way I could say, while this is generating Latex for me, this will not process into the tiny rubber bits, and that one down there will. So that, that's what I'm doing. And these are completely out of power. Uh, anyway, this is what it has produced in the little bit of time that I've been running around doing stuff, which is kind of, I'm, I'm looking at this and going, holy cow, that's a lot of stuff. And I, I like that. So I, I need to reprocess these into bits, you know, like gold. The only thing you can do with the gold is to turn it into gold. So, you know, I'm going to do that and um, pretty much leave this un until there's something that else needs to be done. And... Uh, the, the, the top is done. So let's actually go back a little bit and do a quick reveal. Boing, boing. I wanted something that was open to the air. Well, open to the light. and uh, But had kind of a dish-like shape holding this. So it's kind of, I don't know, it's a, a greenhouse for, for my goodies. And it was something I was uh, just monkeying around with in a creative world while things kept crashing here. Ah... <sighs> so annoying uh, but I tossed a bunch of plants up here I uh, got a bunch of the uh, mystical agricultural plants in here as well as uh, a bunch of the others and I don't have carrots or potatoes up here <laughs> okay I'm gonna have to change that out I, I need carrots and, and potatoes definitely potatoes because uh, the stuff aubergines oh they don't need cooked they could I would have been using the the the, the, the baked potato they could use any of those oh well okay uh do uh, uh like these they're, they're pretty good to, and easy to make and uh, pretty simple to throw this together and uh you know th this gives me a nice safe place that i could afk up here and not have to worry about uh, wandering pillagers because they have occasionally come through and uh, while i've been afking um processing some of the, the 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 stuff here like right here this is one of the place i move whatever seed i want to work on to here and then i just uh, process stuff and go afk and wander away I, I rebind it to l because i can easily wedge the l key i tried the uh, space bar uh, but uh, i actually jumped <laughs> because i didn't disable the, the the jump part and trampled my farmland so i had to make <laughs> some more uh silliness uh, Speaking of traders, I found a trader that had spawned on top of my building, didn't have anything good worth trading, and another guy that had spawned way up on top of there, which is just crazy, and he had this. Efficiency 5, very nice, mending, I'm, I'm loving mending on everything. Fortune 4, which is better than the, the Fortune 3 I've got here, and Miner's Fervor, it reading up the apotheosis um webpage it says that the speed at which you mine varies based off of how far away you are from sea level which i don't know does it get faster or slower the further away you are from sea level i don't know but uh i'll have to give that a give that a go but uh yeah i kind of Threw that together while while everything was crashing around here. Uh, did a little testing with with that. Uh, made a few changes, but um, I like this. It uh, gives me a nice little safe spot. And I went way over there where the mesa was because it's a nice open area. And killed me an enderman and got three ender pearls, which is why I really like this guy for looting five. But um, I'm, I may use those for three elevator blocks in here just because I'm getting sick and tired of going up and down the, uh, the, the ladders. So yeah, I, I may do that, but not sure, not 100% sure. I only have the three 
and I'm really tempted to take one of them and make that into a, uh, a builder because with RF Tools Builder, I could use that to do the mining in the, the mining dimension for me instead of the turtle. I'm liking that because I could turn on the void upgrade and get rid of all the, the cobble and the, the sand and the gravel and the stuff that I really don't need. I've got 10,000 cobble right now. I don't need more. <sighs> Ease of use going up and down, mining more. Oh my god, a lot of those plants. I don't know if I need to mine much. I think I'll probably do the uh, elevators. And then kill me another Enderman so I can get some more Ender Pearls. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here on the FTOG All the Mods 4 server. And it looks kind of like all the four mods if you look at the graphic, but yeah, that's it. Anyway, having a blast. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.